Hey everybody, here we are, Paralife TV, Shane here. Today I'm going to take you for a tour, get my finger out of the way, take you for a tour around the UNB Woodlot Cross Country Ski Trail System. Mainly going to focus on the accessibility part of it, you know, how and where a person with any mobility issues uh, can access the trails to go cross country skiing, whether it's in your sit ski or, you know, stand up skiing but you still need that easy access to get in um, fortunately it's not really set up and I'm not doing this video to bash you know University of New Brunswick City of Fredericton or the Wastawea Cross Country Ski Club it's not that at all it's just to bring awareness to the situation and uh, hopefully we can open up the lines of communication again to make it easier for everybody okay so stick around you don't want to miss it we're gonna have some fun skiing Welcome back to Paralife TV. I'm going to go for a little ski today and I'm just going to go over the accessibility of the ski trails, cross country ski trails here in the uh, UMB Woodlot, groomed by Wastawea Cross Country Ski Club. So I'm here now at the, uh, they call it the Front Road. Uh, it's a highway that goes from Regent Mall out to New Maryland, Highway 101. And this here is uh, about 10 minutes from my house. And uh, it is generally a good place for me to come in and unload. Um, but the only thing is, they stop plowing it in the winter. So I can only get in here in the first few snowfalls. And that's due to other vehicles coming in and packing it down. You can see the highway back out there. And it's quite a, a hill to come up. So, you know, next few snowfalls, I won't be able to get up in here. And nobody will be because they don't plow it out. And if you can see right here, that's where you enter the trail. I gotta go underneath that chain and uh, definitely under, not over. <laughs> and again, it's sketchy here too because I gotta go about 300 meters uh, down an ungroomed trail. So I gotta go about 300 meters down an ungroomed trail to hit the uh, groomed trails. So it's really a crapshoot, really, if I can get through there or not to get to the groomed trails. Now, there are other, there are other access points to the UMB Woodlot, um, which we will check out later today if I can't get through here. Um, if I can get through here today, we're going to go for a nice little ski. Then I'll check out the accessibility uh, points or other access points to the UMB Woodlot uh, further on down the road. Because it's really a crapshoot anywhere, like if any of those access points for me to get in or not. So I always bring my gym clothes just in case if I can't get into the trails and well, I'll just go to the gym. But uh, hopefully we we'll get that changed where they'll have a designated spot for, uh, you know, adaptive skiers to have a place to unload and have access to trails um, easily and keep them uh, you know well maintained throughout the winter so there's no you know snow banks to go over and they're shoveled out and uh, yeah there's some work to do because I've been skiing for quite a few years now since 20, oh, 2008 and uh, it's always a, cra a crapshoot whether I'm going to get on the trails or not here in the UMB and uh, typically later in the winter I can't access them. Can't access them. I have to go over to Clarny Lake, which we'll go and explore another time. Okay. So these trails were groomed. Hello. I went on the website, and these trails were groomed yesterday. And there's a lot of good comments saying the trails are excellent. We're at plus one right now, so it's. I find these are ideal conditions. So the trails. It's early morning. So the trails haven't softened yet, so we should have a pretty good glide. And uh, let's get going. Let's see if I can't get through there. All right. First, I gotta see if I can't get under that chain. I got under the chain, no problem. But now I'm halfway through the access trail to get to the groom trails. So these are ungroomed. I'm gonna take a look. And they're sketchy. And right now it's uh, it's hard packed, so I'm, I'm gliding pretty good. You can see behind me, but it's sketchy, it's tippy, so I gotta go really slow. But there is a good glide. 
So, okay, I'm going to continue on and I'll uh, start up again, show you what the trails look like when I get on there. Okay, okay. All right. Wish me luck. Okay, so I made it through the connector from the highway to uh, the groom trails. They look really good. I think it's going to be pretty fast today, or for the next couple hours anyways, because it's going to go up to plus four, I think, today. Um, but you can see right there, there's a tree that came down. A lot of debris from the tree. That was a little bit of struggle, and it's uphill as well. So my newly waxed skis, well, I hope they survived. I think they did. I kind of went around uh, around, the least, or around where I could, where I seen the least amount of uh, debris and sticks and whatever. But hey, it is what it is. And actually, the connected trail wasn't that bad um, because the snow is not deep. So my poles um, weren't sinking right down. That's the thing, too. When you're pushing on these ungroomed trails, if you go off just a little bit, your poles... If you go outside a little bit to catch your balance or whatever, your poles will sink right down into like two feet of snow. And then when they sink, your weight is on that side and uh, you'll fall over. And it's tough getting up. All right, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to go to the Kent Building Supply entrance. Shoot. Okay. So here down there is another access trail from the Highway 101. It's just further um, up from where I put in. But for this access, access trail, you need to park across the highway in a, a road that leads to the other section of the woodlot, the east end, the east side of the woodlot. And uh, you have to walk across the highway to get in and ski up here to the groom trail. So that is definitely a no-go for me. And there's no parking allowed on the highway for obvious reasons. It, uh, it's pretty dangerous to park on the side of the highway and unload for anybody. So, and they put signs up there restricting that. Uh, that there's no parking on the highway, on this whole section of the highway. So, um, we're going to go this way here. Continue our way out to Kent Building Supply entrance and check that one out. All right, we're about, uh, all right, we're about halfway to Kent Building Supply's entrance on Bishop Drive. I want to show you a quick little, uh, wazer, <laughs> quick little water hazard. You can see that? Things aren't quite frozen over yet. And we don't quite have a whole lot of snow. So you got to be careful out here. And the trails are excellent. The groomers did awesome here. For the little amount of snow that we have, you know, it's, the conditions are, are great. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, so here we are, still on my way out to Killarney, or sorry, Killarney, still on my way out to Kent Building Supply Entrance, which is this way. And this other access uh, trail starts off over in uh, <clears throat> Leon Street. I'll take you out there. Um, and is advised not to ski it for obvious reasons. Look, is advised to walk it. And, uh, So again, here is the Leon entrance. Uh, you go that way, you go to Leon uh, Court, I believe it is. And it's it was advised on the website to walk through the access trail that uh, that gets you out here to the groom trails because it's in such bad shape. This is because of the temperatures. We don't have very much snow. We look here. I mean, that's just this time of year, right? And the weather we've got. Nothing to do with the grooming or anything like that. Although they don't groom these trails. It's just all made by... Uh, people walking and skiing through uh yeah so i'm going to continue on to camp building supply entrance and at the end uh, and after this too i'm going to go out in my vehicle in the van i'm going to drive around and show you the outside parking areas to these uh, access points all right let's keep on going okay we made it to the kent entrance um i'm going to show you here this is where i used to come in all the time because it was there's a lot of parking here at one time. Um, there's actually a wheelchair parking sign that was placed up by the Wastavia Club, uh, which is awesome. I want to show you something here. This is dangerous. You know, now that they expanded the road, they made a double lane, both sides, plus a turning lane into Kent. And now you need to park in Kent Building Supplies and then play a little game of Frogger to come across the highway, which is extremely dangerous. Um, which I do not recommend at all. So this entrance shouldn't be used at all, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, so I'd come in 
Um, they would plow this out before they uh, did the construction to the road to widen it. They'd plow this area out. I'd have parking right there. I could unload. And they gave the chain a lot of slack uh, where I just picked it up and went underneath. And even at times, um, they unshackled it for me and unlocked it and had the chain pushed off to the side. Okay, so that's it here for Kent entrance. We're going to go back. I got about 6k to ski back to my car. Maybe not that much. Five. Something like that. Anyways, it's going to be sticky. It's getting warm here. It's like noon time. It's noon already. Okay, let's get going. Enough chitter chatter. Let's get at her. Alright, so we made it back from Kent uh, entrance and now we are up this way. You're looking at the the, uh, the trail that goes out towards Kingswood, the golf course. And there's also an access trail <coughs> to get from the golf course to the UMB woodlot. Now, because the lack of snow that we've had and the temperatures, uh, it's not uh, passable from what I've been told. And just by comments on the, uh, the website that the connector from Kingswood to the UMB woodlot is not passable. Um, skiing and especially by sit skiing because it's just ice uh, anyways we're going to take a drive to the uh, Kingswood as well so I can show you where you can park or lack of parking to access the trail okay so we're going to head down this way to get back to my van a lot of people today which is great a lot of people it's awesome beautiful weather well, there you have it I survived the interior of the UNB wood lot I showed you uh, all the <coughs> sorry all the access points where you can uh, access the uh, the trails from the inner part of the trail system. And now I'm going to go around the perimeter of the UMB Woodlot and show you the uh, the access to the trails from like the roads and streets, different areas, parts of the city. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. So I don't know how many kilometers I put on. I put on quite a few. And um, it was a great ski. The trails are awesome. Like hats off, hats off to the groomers, Wasatia Cross Country Ski Club. You guys are awesome. And uh, like the, we don't have hardly any snow here. And those guys, those trails are it's just like beautiful spring skiing today. The temperatures are perfect. And it was, it was good going. Tracks were set tracks are really nice but okay enough about that i'm going to go jump in my van and we're going to go take a run around or drive around i'm going to show you uh those points uh areas where we can access the uh, umb trail system cross country cross country ski trail system from outside the city to get in you know what i mean i'm tired <laughs> okay all right stick around Okay, so we're parked along the highway. This is uh, Highway 101 that leads into Fredericton. I was parked up the highway towards New Maryland on the opposite side of where I am now, where I drove up into the parking lot, got out, and uh, was able to access the NB, uh, UNB, uh, University of New Brunswick uh, trail system, the woodlot, UNB woodlot, okay? So another way... You know, skiers get into the woodlot are they park here, where I am now. I don't know if you can see. And then they walk up the highway and cross over. And if you can see, now you can see how busy this highway is. You know, that's, that's just dangerous. It is dangerous on a good day when there's no traffic. Um, so, yeah. And that's definitely not an option for myself or uh, anybody with any kind of you know, mobility impairment to park over here and then walk down the highway and cross. I'm gonna try to sh Alrighty, here is our last stop. No, sorry, it's not our last stop, but one more after this. This is the Leon uh, Street entrance to the uh, UMB Woodlot Trails. So if you can see down here, it is a very popular entrance. Tons of cars lined up along the side of the road and you can get access right here. And you go around that container and then you hit the trail 
the the access trail to get to the main groom trail. So as I'm sorry about the hand. So as uh, you know, speaking with people earlier on the trails that uh, that connector from here to the groom trail, the connector is not very good just due to not having enough snow and the warm temperatures that we're having. It's pretty treacherous going through. Many people are choosing to walk through because it's so uneven and a lot of ruts. So but the problem with here right now, this would be ideal to unload and unload your sit ski and to access the trail, providing the connector part was in good shape. But over time, as the winter goes on here, snow banks they accumulate because this is a city street and the snow banks, what we see here, snow banks pile up here. It's a court. So all the snow gets dumped here. So you have to walk up and over a snow bank. And that's something that I'm just not going to do. <laughs> or anybody that has any problems, uh, uh, you know, walking or any kind of condition like that, right? Like the elderly, it's just not uh, feasible for them. So I'm going to go on to the last stop, which is out in Clarny, and see how that is. I can't get over a beautiful day. So our last stop is coming right up. All right, here we are at Kingswood. I think I have actually one more stop to make after this, but it's still here at Kingswood. It's just another entry point that I use sometimes if the coast is clear, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, depending on how much snow and it's, I'll, show, I'll see if I can't drive down in there. But here's the main, um, turn it this way. Here's the main entrance uh, to the UMB. Well, actually, you're going to go out here into the uh, Kingswood Golf Course. And then from the golf course, there's a trail that takes you to the UMB Woodlot, and you'll get to an access uh, trail there that'll take you to the Woodlot. Um, so here, there's really no parking. There, oh, sorry, I should, I should say there's a lot of parking, but you got to park across the way. You see my van over there. And I'm just going to take a second here. So this car passes. So, you want to see my van is right there. Um, I have to cross the parking lot to come to get onto the trails. So, I have to bring my wheelchair over, my sit ski, and then when I bring that over, I have to leave my wheelchair out here. Now, last year or the year before, I can't remember what year it was, but I had parked along the side of the uh, road here. Getting all messed up here. It parked along the side of the road. Hotel management came out. I don't know if I can get a better view of that here. Yeah, they're behind me. Yeah, if you can see right over my uh, left shoulder, I parked along the side of the road here. And hotel management came out and told me not allowed to park there. Um, because he wasn't mean about it. Well, he was kind of a snotty about it at first. But anyways, uh, it just defies no parking there because he didn't want... Uh, it to be the norm where more people would follow suit and they'd have big long lines of traffic which is understandable you know you can understand and so i was like okay sure whatever i'll uh, just leave my chair sitting out here in the snow and that's what i did for that time and yeah but there is another place on the other side of kingswood entertainment center right there that i use you can only use it once in a, in a while because, again, once the snow accumulates, there's the finger. Once it's, we get more snow throughout the season, they just kind of keep pushing snow down in there, so you can't really drive down in there and uh, get to the get on the golf course to get to the UMB Woodlot. So, um, I'm not sure what they have for trails out here on the uh, golf course, uh, but it can be very treacherous at times. There's time where it was a windy day, cold windy day, and I knew if I got into the UMB woodlot, I'd be out, I'd be shielded from the wind, and have a good ski, because all the other points that I showed you earlier, I couldn't access the UMB ski trails because they were all congested with snow, and there's just no way I could get in, no parking, and uh, so I came here, parked across there, left my chair here. Went in and skied. I got probably maybe three quarters of the way to the UMB Woodlot connector trail. 
and I came across about a, a pretty big snow drift, probably about three or four, three feet high at least, and deep and long. And there's just no way I was going to plow through that. So I turned around, came back, and that was the end of my skiing. So I had no way to get on to the, the, uh, the trail. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer. All right, so I'm going to try to get into that one last place where I put in. Uh, that's pretty easy. Like I said, if there's, like I said, very little snow, it's it's easy to get in. I, here is my last stop. I uh, use this area once in a while too, when I can, before the snow gets too high, to uh, come down and jump on the trails. You see, I could park. I could drive down this driveway, park in this area here. See behind me. Park down here. It's nice and clear now, but you see where they put the snow banks here? They're gonna end up putting snow bank all up around here, all up around here, all up around here, and this parking area is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. Now this looks ideal right now. Like you can see, well, they haven't been able to groom the trails because we have very little snow here up in the golf course. Um, so they haven't even groomed up, up to here. Interesting sign up here where it says, no skiing, no sliding, no walking, no shoeing, no snowshoeing, employees only, Kingswood Resort. So maybe you can't access the trails from here this year. Those signs were not there uh, last season. So maybe they don't want you on the course. This is a walking trail that goes around. And then when you go over that little hill, over that little hill, um, you get onto the groomed trails. And if you can see, way up there, way, way up there, that's where you got to go to get into the uh, UMB woodlot. And then, and then further, that's just getting up in the hill. Then you got to go further along the highway, further along the highway to get to the UMB connector. And it can be very treacherous at times because it's all wide open. Okay, well, thanks for uh, watching. That concludes my video of uh, the UMB Woodlot accessibility and you know as I was going around skiing today showing you the different access points getting in getting out I was, I was thinking along the lines of just wheelchair adaptive sit skiing wheelchair parking um, but then as I went in to the, the Kent entrance the traffic you know people walking across the highway you know, to get to the trails, and then on the Vanier Highway, or it's not the Vanier Highway, but the Highway 101 that leads into Fredericton from New Maryland into Fredericton, people having to walk across that highway to get to the trails, and then coming all the way out here to Kingswood, where there's really no guarantee you can get across the golf course to get into UNB trails. It's a crap, sh crap shot for anybody. I mean, it really need it got me thinking that not just for wheelchair accessibility and adaptive sport accessibility to get on the trails but really they need a central spot so everybody can safely get on these trails you know can have access to the UMB Woodlot trails safely because you know after like I said touring around I was like I seen people crossing the highway I seen people crossing those four lanes through traffic to get on the trails that's not safe for anybody um, I've, I've came across today skiing uh, a few elderly people. I know they must have been in their 80s, and I've seen them uh, last season as well. Uh, you know, for those people too to have nice, easy access to these trails. I mean, yeah, you got to go through these connector trails, but those connector trails can be treacherous at times for anybody, let alone someone who's elderly and myself who needs a sit ski to get out and enjoy the trails. So really, there needs to be one central place where you can have your central parking, easy, drop down, get your gear on, and ski off. Uh, kind of have to have it like Kingswood, where they have one huge parking lot where you go, park, and boom, you're right there on the trails and you're off. I'll take you for a tour on that later on in the winter when we get some more snow. I think I said it earlier that they're just don't have any snow it's all ice over there right now but yeah that's got me thinking not just for you know accessibility for people with with uh you know for wheelchairs but have it for everybody to safely get on those trails and enjoy the winter hmm
So hopefully this will open up some communication between you know the players, which I believe are the UMB Woodlot, University of New Brunswick. They own that property. City of Fredericton and the partner ski club, Cross Country Ski Club, Wastawea. Um, oh, and before I go, I had actually met today while skiing uh, the new Wastawea para coordinator. And I happened to know her from way back. She was my physiotherapist, uh, I believe, when I was an outpatient at Stan Cassidy. So she is new in the position. And I actually never knew there was a position. I guess this position uh, became last season. Uh, there was a person on the board as the para coordinator and stepped down. So this individual, I'm not going to say names, has stepped into the role. I'm really excited. And... Uh, speaking with her on the trail for a good 10-15 minutes about things and and uh, I offered my services to help out with anything uh, to help get people onto the trail onto the trails to uh, ski so it's going to be uh, I think we're going to get moving in the right direction here uh, with her on the board and uh, collaborating with myself and others we can uh, we can make it happen okay all right, over and out. Thank you very much for sticking with me and watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. I have people over here in the restaurant looking out the window at me. There's a restaurant right on the other side here. Sam Sneeds. Okay, anyways. All right. Again, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Hit a like. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Give me some, give me some questions. I love answering questions. I will reply. So, all right, take care. Keep on rolling.